Well folks, work is going ahead really nicely here. The French polishing, I have completed quite a bit of it. The main case is done, but what you're looking at here is some of the panels. This panel here is the the lid for the keyboard. See if you can get a feel for the shine of the French polish. It really comes up like a mirror finish. This is the back of the top of the case. Looking quite beautiful indeed. It's still not finished. There's a little bit of work to be done in finishing it off, but you don't want to rush the process of French polishing. If I move this piece of wood, you get to see what we're talking about there. There's no finish like French polish. And you see here, the top of the case, still some streaks on it, as I said, it's not a work that's finished, lots of work more to be done, but it gives you a good idea of what it can look like. Just giving a glimpse of the side of the case here. These are four little finials that I had made to replace the missing ones from the front of the candle stand on each side. So they will be put in place when they're finished. Much easier to, um, to French polish than when they're off the, off the candle stands. So, this is, what we, this is the music desk itself. Let's move that around so you can see the beautiful wood. So I'll continue with this process of French polishing and I'll demonstrate some for you so you can see how it works. So, what is French polish? Well, I'm going to show you the, what makes up the French polish. This is what they call button flake. and. What you use, it's what you use to make French polish, it's shellac and you dissolve it in, in Ireland what we would call methylated spirits or in other places in the world called denatured alcohol. And so I put mine into a container like this one and you pour it over the flakes, leave it to dissolve and overnight and you're left with your French polish. Now when French polishing I always make sure to use gloves because the stuff is very hard to get off the hands afterwards and the other mysterious thing that we use the pad that is used to apply the French polish cotton cloth with uh, you can use cotton wool or this is what's called wadding used in upholstery and that's inside the, uh, the cloth. You, know, you make a pad out of it. Now I am not a professional, I am an amateur. This is something I'm still very inexperienced at so I continue to learn at all times. There are lots of videos out there I'm sure on YouTube how to French polish. You might be better going by those than by my meter uh, effort. Now what you would ordinarily do is take the wadding out of the cloth and dip it in the French polish, you soak it in it. I'm just doing that off camera now. And you, you tighten the cloth around the wadding and make a nice pad. You can use the palm of your hand to get it into the right shape. I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of the application of the French polish now on the lid of the reed organ. If when you run your hand across the, the surface that has been French polished and you're about to French polish and it's in any ways rough at all, if there's anything, it's not perfectly smooth, you can get a very fine grit sandpaper. I use 1200 grit sandpaper to lightly rub the, uh, the, the wood to be French polished and then vacuum it off, which can be uh, very useful to use an ordinary domestic vacuum cleaner with a brush on the end. 
Now I'm going to lift up the panel so that the light, I can see the light um, uh, shine off the wood, it makes it much easier. And then in long strokes, rubbing the wood with the pad up and down. Now you can go on YouTube and find all kinds of ways of doing this, figure of eight, patterns that you should um, use when going across the wood. I'm using what I've been taught and it has worked as you can see. Just go back over it again. The, the methylated spirits or the um, denatured alcohol evaporates very quickly leaving you with eventually a beautiful glass finish on the wood. And so there you go. That's at least how I'm French polishing. I'm sure there are lots of experts out there who tell me I'm not doing it correctly, but anyway, so be it. I'll just show you this other piece of wood here as well. Now, I'm doing this in the evening at home, so the light isn't good. I'm using light that isn't natural, much better in the daylight. But in the winter in Ireland there isn't much opportunity for daylight in the evening, it's dark by 4.30. So I'm stuck with that. But anyway, that gives you a taster of how it is done, the French polishing. Demystify it because it's not that difficult. Anybody can do it with a little bit of practice and it gives results which you get from nothing else.